Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be creating a deadline extender using Notion's brand new formula automations and a select property. If I go to the deadline actions, select property, and when I click on add one week, it will extend the deadline by a week. If I want to clear it, I can click on clear, and that will clear the deadline and deadline actions. If I wanted to add one week to the deadline, even if it was empty, you can also do that as well. This just highlights the versatility of Notion formula automations. So let's dig right into it. We're gonna probably wanna create a database. We can keep the tags. I'm just gonna name it extender. And then I'm gonna add some tags. So maybe clear for clearing the date, add one week, two weeks, one month, add three. I think those are some good tags that we could use for this extender. And maybe we'll change this to a select property. So it's one at a time. And then we want a deadline. Obviously that's gonna be a date and we're gonna to wanna to change this based on the tags that we add here. So I'm gonna to go to automations, new trigger, when the property tag is edited, we want to create this action. And so we want to define some variables, right? This is gonna be the way that we add and change the deadline. And so the idea here is when the tag is edited, we want to see what that tag is and then based on the tag, change the deadline. And so I'm gonna be editing the deadline property and I'm gonna do a custom formula, add to date. So this is the variable that we defined and we wanna update it, the deadline to that new variable that we just defined. So real quick, I added Notion automations, created the a trigger for when a tag is edited and then we're gonna create a variable in which based on the tag that's been selected we're going to add specific dates on top of what's currently there so and this is important we got to click on the formula do ifs trigger page dot tags is equal to clear we want to do empty if the trigger page dot tags is equal to add one week and we want to trigger page dot date deadline Add seven days and let's close it. And so this is just a quick formula test for add one week. I'm gonna just make sure to copy that in case something happens. No, I don't want to discard that. So it looks like this isn't working. So formula cannot have a return type of unknown. Allowed return type is date. So it's because of this. I'll just change this to now because that's a date now and now I can create it because an error goes away so really important is to have a, a correct formula output that corresponds to the appropriate property because the text is not a date and so I needed to create a date output as opposed to just an empty output there and now I can create this add one week that is the text that I added here okay I'm gonna test this out December 1st I'm gonna add one week. Bam, look at that. We just added seven days to that deadline and we did that through that one tag change. Pretty sweet. Now if I do clear, that deadline is also gonna change and it's gonna change to now as opposed to a specific date. It's gonna add that timestamp automatically. So in our case, maybe we don't need this automation and so in that case, we can just create a new automation that says when tags is clear, we're gonna edit property deadline to clear. Now we can create that. And then I'm gonna actually remove that initial output and just keep the seven days, save it. Now if I change this to clear, it's gone. That was really fast. So if I change this to clear, deadline disappears. And maybe when the tag is cleared, when we click on clear and the tag is shown there, why don't we actually also edit the tags to be nothing, so clear tags. So let's say we just set a deadline and we want to manipulate the deadline through these different tags. So if I wanna clear that date, I can just go to clear. 
deadline gets erased, tags get erased. Now what if I want to add one week? Nothing happens, right? Because the deadline is empty. So if I add add one week there, the deadline gets changed. It looks like that's not working anymore. Oh, it's paused for whatever reason. Okay. And then I'm gonna add one week to it. And that automation should run. Bam, there we go. And if we wanna clear it, change the tag to clear. Deadline gets removed, tag gets removed. We call this deadline actions so that the select property becomes an action menu to modify the deadline for this database entry. Now let's say we want to add one week, but there's no deadline. Well, and then maybe it applies to all these other ones as well. If there's no deadline, why don't we just add a week to today's date and then make that the new deadline, right? So let's just spice that up a bit. I wonder why this gets paused every time. I'm not sure why that's happening, but okay. In this case, if the trigger page deadline is empty, so I'm gonna do explanation point empty and say, hey, if that deadline is empty and trigger page dot deadline actions is equal to add one week then let's make the trigger page dot deadline equal to now plus date add seven and then we'll just add that comma because that's a specific output and so this is saying if the trigger page deadline is empty and the deadline action is equal to add one week we want to create a deadline that's seven days away from now. But if it isn't empty or otherwise, we want to add one week to the current deadline. And so let's just save that. And actually, I don't think we even need this. It's just now times date add save. Okay, and exactly. So a good way to tell that your formula is formatted properly is so that the save blue button appears. And if you can save it, it means that you're formatting the formulas accurately. I'm going to clear it. And now I'm going to make sure the automation is working or turned on. I'm going to go to add one week and deadline should. I'm not exactly sure why that keeps turning on and off. I'm not sure why that keeps happening. Oh, okay, that's why, because we want to say it is empty and it's one week. So I, I added the wrong variable in front of empty, so it was saying if it's not empty. And so I got to update that. But again, this is just kind of the real-time troubleshooting of formulas and kind of how you just have to start playing around with it and experimenting with it to figure out what's going right, what's going wrong, and then just knowing exactly what you're looking for and kind of iterating upon it. So I'm gonna add one week, and there we go. We got a week from today is the deadline there, and it's 319 currently, so obviously it's gonna just do exactly seven days. Now, the thing with this is we need to make sure that the reminder is on. Currently, you can't automate this reminder process, I'm sure, I hope that they change this so that you can actually create a reminder automatically and kind of make this a setting that you can change as far as I know so that this we can kind of minimize that reminder step of having to go to the date, remind, and then kind of selecting what you're looking for there. That was kind of a quick tutorial on how to add some dates and how to change the deadline of a date through a select property and a formula automation that we created here. Right. As you can imagine, you can just add more constraints and conditions so that, you know, if the deadline action is add two weeks, we just do the same action, but it's 14 days. Same with months and weeks. We can just change this to weeks and months and then modify the numerical value there to create those separate output comes. Now, I wanted to make this quick video because this just shows the importance and versatility of these formula automations that we can create, right? I started with the trigger that I wanted to initiate. I defined a variable really quickly and then set the property that I wanted to change based on that variable. And I just defined it, created a simple formula as a placeholder, and then just defined the new property that I want to edit with that variable I just defined, right? And then once I've created a format and an output that matches that same property format, in this case, dates, we can create this useful trigger and action where we can add dates by one week, two weeks, or whatever specifications that you want with the click of any of these select properties. Obviously, I just did it for clear and add one week, but I'm sure you can figure out the rest. The reason why I like having this clear is it also illustrates how you can hide the trigger or reset the trigger that you used to create the automation. 
right? So I guess one thing we could do is actually just add action, edit property, deadline actions, custom formula, save it. So now we can clear deadline actions. And so let's say if we clear it, that'll be its automation. And then let's add one week. And now we've added that one week from now and the deadline action is empty. So if you wanna make your next action, you can just click on it and do it again. Now let's do add one week and you can just add seven days to that deadline and then clear that deadline action. So as you can imagine, the more that you layer these conditions and filters, the more that you can do. And I can imagine this sort of sequence of using select properties as an action trigger to change deadlines, for example, is just one of the many ways that we can use that formula automation and kind of change our workflow through two properties and then one automation using one defined variable, right? This video again is very simple, but it just begins to show you how much more you can do with the defining of variables and how there's not a single formula property in this database now. And the formula actually just lives in the automation itself. And the automation is custom made and tailored to exactly what you need, right? This formula automations is gonna change everything. And I think it sort of shifts the attention away from Make and Zapier because this is natively integrated with Notion. You don't need to pay for it except for, you know, the basic plan and above. But now that you have access to charts, forms, and this, I think it's a no-brainer to spend however much money you need to unlock these features. Again, if you're a student, you actually have Notion Plus for free with a .edu email. And so I highly recommend signing in or signing up with an edu email so you have some of these features for free and so this is actually a free thing that you can start playing around with it's nice that it actually tells you you know what the trigger is and all the action steps associated with automation and then we can also name it for whatever save it whatever you want to do i love creating really simple videos out of these basic ideas and i really hope that this will help you sort of start experimenting and playing around with formula automations especially if you've been using formulas for a while now, try putting them into this formula automation and seeing if you can automate some of the processes because this formula automation basically allows you to change other properties. And in previous formula 2.0, you were not able to change any properties outside of its own formula output. But now with a dynamic variable, we can use the formula property as the leading trigger to adjust all sorts of properties to find all sorts of variables in a really simplified concise way i'm probably rambling on at this point and probably saying the same thing in a variety of ways but again game breaking game changing start learning this stuff especially if you're hoping to leverage notion in a competitive way whether that's for your clients your templates consulting just demonstrations Whatever you feel like you want to sort of operationalize in Notion and with Notion databases, we're getting very close to being able to do everything natively, which is amazing. And I can't wait to see where we're going to be a year from now because we've already seen so many new changes with Notion formulas. I can't imagine where Notion's going to take everything next. Anyways, happy holidays. I hope 2024 has treated you well, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks. Bye.